Hello there guys and girls, I hope you are doing well and welcome back to our brand new RimWorld series that we're going to be having on the channel moving further forward. We've picked a brilliant time to come back to RimWorld to be honest with you uh, and to do another series because we've just had the Ideology DLC drop. Now that is obviously going to help us or hinder us potentially because now you get to create your own belief systems and you get to find control your behaviours, your preferences, your rituals, your symbols and loads more different stuff that's been brought into the game which we will go through in a bit more detail as we go through the save and the series itself. Also in terms of RimWorld itself, if you want to play along at home, what I'll do is there'll be a couple of links in the description box below, all go into a website called Fanatical. I've used them quite a lot in terms of buying games in the past. You normally get a good discount off of the price that you'd normally find on Steam or Origin of the games, usually 10, 15 percentage off of the overall price. I'll put the specific links down below for RimWorld for some of the DLC and for a complete package as well. So if you are interested in picking up a copy, feel free to check the link out below. Of course, every time you do go through that link and look to purchase something, it will support the channel and will help the channel grow moving further forward. So without further ado, let's get the actual colony set up. We are going to go for the Rich Explorer scenario this time round. We've obviously done Naked Brutality quite a lot. I think this time we'll go for the Rich Explorer. We're still only going to have one person, but we have got a little bit more stuff, as you can see here, which will kickstart the growth of the colony, let's say, straight away, or just at least her growth of her colony, or his, of course, to start with. So we're going to go for the Rich Explorer. You've seen the other pages before, so I'm going to skip forward now until we crash land and then we'll start building the base together. Okay, so before you can actually pick your people now, before you crash land, you have to pick your ideology now. Um, so I wasn't sure if you actually have to create this while you're in the game and maybe your colony starts creating their own beliefs as you play through. Uh, but no, you actually pick something from the beginning. So by the looks of it, there is a lot of different things to choose from. So we might have to have a quick read for a few of these before we make a decision. By the looks of it, you can create your own custom one as well, totally from the beginning. I, I don't know if we'll look at doing that yet, just because obviously we're not sure what 100% of these things are going to do. So what I'll do is I'll have a little bit of a read through some of these scenarios. And I'll quickly hover over them. So if you do want to have a read, obviously feel free to pause the video and you can have a look through a couple of the different bits. I think let's let's just click on that one quickly. Okay, yeah, so they they do a lot. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of reading before we go any further, just so I know exactly what we are going to use. So I'll quickly have a little read through these, and I will be back with you shortly in terms of which one we're going to pick, and I'll explain to you why and exactly sort of how that's going to fit in or what we're going to look to do and what our beliefs will be moving forward. Perfect, here we go. So we've got our first ideology that we're going to go with and the first thing of the save that we are going to play as now some of it was randomized all uh, obviously we clicked this and a few bits were put in and a couple of bits i've edited and changed myself um, just to give it a more of a feel of what we're going to go for now we know from previous episodes we love a farm so what better way to have an ideology to start with as a rancher so we are going to seriously be eating meat, but we are going to keep a farm going and keep breeding animals to continue to eat them. So I think for us, the way that we play, the way that we seem to just play in terms of what the game gives us, this is going to be brilliant in terms of the amount of animals that we're going to be able to have and actually have a proper farm set up. It's literally a Rimworld dream coming true right before our eyes, ladies and gentlemen, right before our eyes. A few things obviously come down. I thought this literally this top bit was just everything. Oh no, there's a lot more. So I've literally been sat here for the last 15, 20 minutes sorting this out. So obviously, as we know from the top bit, we have to eat meat straight away. So that is seriously required with our beliefs that we should be eating meat. And another belief is that we must raise and consume many large animals and we must not eat plants. So they basically can't just have a plant based meal. So for example, we can't now just plant strawberries and just eat strawberries in a meal. That's going to give them negative mood buffs. Execution is not acceptable. Slavery, cannibalism, etc, etc. You can see these now. Obviously, pause it if you want to have a closer look, but I don't want it to drag on too far. I obviously appreciate that you just want to see some of the gameplay. You've got different them roles that your community can have and your colony can have. So if someone gets to this level, 
they have to be wearing a cowboy hat and this in that role they're then the leader you can get an animal specialist which if they get to that point they've got a train animal chance of 200 percent and tame animal chance plus of 200 percent so that is going to be fantastic however it does disable their work of cooking constructing growing mining etc so it will basically just rule that person out they will only be able to do animal care which isn't too much of an issue we've got our dance parties etc etc the relics were interesting to me i've never seen these weapons in the game maybe this one before but this definitely not so i don't know if they're new um but if we can get i mean one of them that is going to be absolutely incredible we've got our sculpture which is apparently going to be one of our honoured sculptures, which is just a sculpture of a muffalo. Um, so we'll take it. And then 65 different hairs and beards and tattoos are in use as well, apparently. So we're going to go through, select our person now. Then what I'll do is I'll, I'll select the person off camera, crash land, start getting things set up, and I'll cut back so you can see where we are getting up to. So here we are. We have spawned in. We have got Young as our character, Remy Young. Not too bad, not too good. He's not incapable of anything, so at least that's going to be easier for us to get everything set up. Um, good social skills, which we're lucky. Good shooting skills. Um, but other than that, pretty plain Jane overall. We've spawned in... Oh, also, I forgot to let you know that we're not playing on our typical temperate forest. We are actually playing in the tropical rainforest, just to make it that little bit harder. Obviously... We're, we're starting off with a little bit of an advantage this time in terms of the rich, rich explorer so i've made it harder in terms of the zone that we're playing in because this is more common to viruses and illnesses uh, and it typically has more aggressive animals on the map itself so let's have a look at our starting zone and what we've got around us so we've got some rich soil up here so that's good a bit of marshy soil as well mixed in so that's not going to help too much but loads here so that's not too bad. That's going to filter through up here into a nice, maybe far, maybe this will be where we have our farm, to be fair. We've got the ancient road coming through and past us, and it does actually end. Oh, no, it does come all the way through. So that's going to help trade and travel coming through. Obviously, we've got all of this to explore, potentially, if we don't move away from here before that. What's this? Ancient car frame. Fair enough. That's different. And then we've got this, we could build in this zone and just obviously then block it all off. But that's going to then cut us off away from farming up here a lot. I think to be here, fair, here's not too bad. We can build out along here like this. Take advantage of this sort of um, cave system. Maybe even build little outposts through here and here so we can get into these areas quicker. Potentially an ancient bed. Oh, we've got some scarabs there and the mega spiders. So we'll have to be careful of that. But other than that, yeah, this isn't a bad little area to start with, I don't think, to be fair. Let, we'll, we'll do it and we'll see, well, we'll see what happens, won't we? Let's be, let's be honest, if it doesn't go well, then maybe you guys won't even see this part. But <laughs> we'll obviously go as far as we can, of course. So first things first, we need some wood, which we need in every single save that we start. When we're on our own, we need wood. The reason we need wood, we need to start building things. So let's get something. Let's start getting some of this cut. How much have we actually got already? We've got spawned in with 325. So that's not too bad. Maybe it's slightly less than that because he's already cutting things down. So walls look different. Nice emblem. We'll go through what's new in terms of the game shortly. First of all, we're just going to build little zones that we can start building in. And maybe just have like a little storage zone little dining room and then have his bedroom down here like this put that there put a door on there door there door there perfect oh, I'll put a door there so you can get through quick enough easy what's this in here that we've got marble under here compacted palace still that's going to be handy to have maybe even potentially selling that in the future maybe if we need to that's fine so have you guys been enjoying the other content that I've been putting out? Obviously, I've been doing a little bit of the Iron Man challenge on WoW. I hope you've been enjoying that. Also had some New World footage coming out. We'll have some more Iron Man challenges, some more New World footage coming in the near future. I've started to plan some things around some other games that are coming out in the near future. 
And of course, don't forget, as I mentioned at the start of the video, if this is something that you want to play alongside us and you want to see how far your colony can go against ours, maybe we'll have a little bit of a competition in it. Make sure you check out them links in the description for a little bit of a discount. He needs a bed. Well, the first thing he needs is to actually just finish his buildings, to be honest, isn't it? That's the thing, obviously, with the one person, it doesn't speed it through as quick as, as the others. Like, I did try one with three people and it just it just felt like I was achieving so much so quick. And I just didn't know if it would be very interesting to see. So I thought I'd start a new one and, and do it with the with the one person itself. I wasn't necessarily happy with the three people one. I just didn't feel like it was entertaining enough. So, of course, if you're not happy with it, don't put it out. Obviously, I just want to make sure I put out some good content for you guys to watch and enjoy. Something that's quite new in this expansion as well is you've actually got now favourite colours um, of your colonists. So you can actually now change the colour of their appeal. Whereas before, for example, this black panther that's on the screen walking around at the moment, if you killed that, you'd get black leather and typically that would just make black coloured clothes. However, you can now make dyes. I'm not sure how, but you can make dyes and you can then actually dye the colour of the clothes uh, to their favourite colour. So that way, you can obviously get a mood buff from that as well, which is always going to be interesting to see how that plays out. I mean, it's going to help a lot in terms of what we need. He's only got one construction. He didn't spot that, to be fair, when we were spawning him, but that's fine. We can work through this. So let's have a look at the new stuff that's actually in the game. You've actually got fence. Oh my god, yes. Look, you can actually build pens now. So you know when we was trying that before, where we was just going to build normal walls. We can actually build an actual fencing, an actual pen for the animals. That's incredible. That is going to be game changer. Hopefully we just get a shed lun of chickens and I can just literally put them all up here in a nice little fenced off area. Perfect. What else have we got? So nothing obviously in the zones. Production, electric stone cutters table. I think that's the only thing maybe that's different. Plant a box, I don't think that's different. About the furniture. So straight away the torch lamp is different. Dark torch. Treated wooden torch that produces a dim light over a large area. People who prefer dark light work best with this light. So I guess tunnelers and people like that. Uh, what else have we got? Dining chair. See, that looks a little bit different. No, that doesn't look different at all, does it? What am I talking about? Doesn't look different. Extra furniture. They're just the things from the mods, so that's irrelevant. So we've got some nice turrets. They're no different, though. That's just because we've got them unlocked this time, and normally we don't. Power's the same. Miscellaneous. So this is a lot of different. So you've got your logos that you can build. Knee pillows. Skull spike. File cabinet drums. Light ball and loudspeaker. Definitely going to be looking at them soon enough when we make a absolute amazing nightclub, I guess. Also got different flooring, straw, be used for in animal barns. Nice. And then what? Oh look, look at them slabs. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So you could actually just have that almost covering the whole bedroom. Fair enough. What else have we got? Recreation, nothing. Ship. Obviously, we ain't unlocked anything in the ship. And temperature, that's about it. Okay, fine. So, at the moment, there's a few different things on there. Obviously, not everything, because we're not <clears throat> that far forward in terms of the technology. How much wood have we got now? More than enough wood to at least do his bedroom. So, let's get rid of the rest of the trees that we're going to plant. Uh, cut, sorry. Let's get his bedroom built. So, at least we haven't got to worry about that, because he still hasn't obviously actually got a bedroom yet. It's not going to go very well, because he's only got one construction. Construction, sorry. What's that noise? That cobra has just absolutely annihilated that chinchilla. Awful bedroom, awful bed, which is going great. He's eating without a table. Well, that's, if we can change that, we'll build a nice two by two. Oh, we've got a gift. Sheep wool flop hat and a sheep wool veil. Very nice. He needs a full construction to be able to make a chair so he can only build stools. Okay. 
hopefully we get someone who's actually good at construction come through and we can actually kidnap because I mean kidnap I mean try and win over to join the colony he's reached level two which is fine first before we build another thing because we will need to build a prison soon enough won't we but first things first let's build a butcher table and a fueled stove might as well wear them oh you can't wear both you can only wear one or the other i mean the hat looks pretty decent doesn't it Changed all like the different animations. Like this before was in there before. We've got a mad monkey coming in right there. So let's get him ready. Great. Nice. Good shot. Run. Yeah. shooting's going to come in handy. Uh, for those wondering what that weapon was, you start of a charge rifle when you do the Rich Explorer. It's just like a pulse rifle. Pulse charge technology. The cat is eating so many of the meals already. Has it got a bond? If it has, yeah, it has got a bond. I was going to say I'd kill it. Slaughter it for the meat, but it's bonded to young, so we won't do that right now. Unfortunately. Oh, never mind. The cobra is actually definitely not going to have enough storage straight away. Okay, so we've had some cargo pods dropped in. What have we got from the cargo pods? 159 corn. I feel like you're testing us there because we're not actually allowed to have corn, are we? We have got our first raid. We've got someone called Squid coming over. Certainty, 69% of that religion. I wonder then if you can... See, he hates eating meat. And yet we love eating meat. <laughs> I, I guess you can obviously then, when you're going to recruit them, you can change it, maybe? Interesting. Okay, so let's have a look what he does. Incapable of animals as well. I don't think he's going to fit in. Wait, what? Incapable of animals? But he has 10 animals. So maybe he can tame, but he can't handle them. Anyway, let's see what happens. So he's obviously going to come in and attack us straight away, I believe. Yes, where's he going to go? Never mind. Why would he? Why would he run in there? Why don't you just run down the actual road that's here? Never mind, young. You haven't. You haven't got to worry about it. I'm gonna presume he dies. Yeah. Drop some jade though. Is this still producing? No. Where'd the other one go? Oh, it's there. It died. How did it die? I must have got killed by him. Nice, okay, well that helped us in a way. Because without him actually knowing it, he's actually helped us rather than hindered us, even though he raided us. You can actually release them to the wild now. That's different. Yeah, because before you could only slaughter them, couldn't you? But that's good that you can actually release them. Chance that this creature will attack when a tamer tries to tame it and fails. Attacks when harm. Interesting. Maybe what we'll do is the save starts to progress, we'll name our colonists after some of our subscribers. So if you do want your name to appear in the game, leave a comment. Let me know. Comment down below and now I'll pick a few at random to start naming some of our colonists. I'll put a little order in. A, list, a little list out there in terms of who's going to be who and what.
It's only a matter of time before this panther hunts us, isn't it, for food, let's be honest. It's already killed the cat. But let's be honest, we know that Remy Young, the gun dealer, is going to be an absolute... MVP. Okay, so you actually can. So that's where you find out if you want to get a thing. So he could actually be the leader. A leader who holds the group together and represents your faction in a diplomatic, in diplomatic interactions. He's not got a cowboy hat, so he can't do that anyway, but it's interesting that he could do that. Hamper killing psych again? Yep, shock. There won't be any wildlife left for me to tame on the map because the panther would have actually eaten everything. So be interesting to see what happens there. So I think I'm gonna leave it there in this first episode. Obviously we haven't had as much action as we usually would, but of course we have only just crash landed in we had that one raid and uh, they decided to run straight into the scarab so we <laughs> will leave it there uh, we've obviously got the panther running around in the background of course eating every little bit of wildlife that we've got and those are already eating the cat so they'll probably come and eat us next but for now we will leave it there and obviously see what happens in the next episode of our adventure yes obviously we might notice some walls here that need to be destroyed I accidentally built short walls instead of normal walls so then raiders can actually walk over them so that's not going to help in the slightest so i'm going to leave it there thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the episode today please leave a like comment down below subscribe if you are new around here and i'll hopefully see you in the next episode of our newest rimworld series thank you very much for the support and i'll speak to you soon